Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to do a leak code challenge in Python. The challenge we're going to cover today is the returning sum of a one dimensional array. Let's quickly read through the problem, go through an example, and then I'll provide a code solution. So the problem states is given an array of nums, that's our input. We are going to define a running sum of the array as running sum of position i will equal the sum of nums from position zero to position i. So return the running sum of nums. So what that looks like is in turn, or sorry, input nums. So this is what they give you a list of numbers. So one, two, three, four, pretty easy example here to begin with. What they want us to do is give us an output. So what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna iterate through this. You could probably tell this is gonna be a for loop. So first thing we're gonna have is the first position one. So we're gonna output that number there. Then we're gonna add the next position to it. So two plus one, that's gonna give us three. And then we're gonna add the next number three to the previous two. So one plus two plus three is six. And then lastly, add four to all the other positions. Four plus three is seven, plus two is nine, plus one is 10. So we're gonna output each of those running total. And here's a couple more examples if you still wanna uh, try those out. So let's uh, start over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a counter and we're going to set that to zero. So what this does is basically we're going to count the sums as we iterate through an array. And then I'm going to create a list, an empty list, and we're going to store those in a list and that's going to be our output. We're going to need a for loop. So we're going to loop through the input. So for i and nums. And what we're gonna do first is use our counter. So our, we're gonna set our counter, and that's gonna be i plus counter. So when we iterate through this array, i is gonna be our first number. And then our counter is gonna be storing, each time we iterate, that number. So first it's gonna be one, and then it's gonna be the second number plus the previous counter. So i would be the second number plus the previous counter. Hopefully that makes sense. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that to our list. So we're gonna output each time we go through the for loop, we're gonna append it to a list and then we're gonna output the list. So we're gonna return list. Now let's go ahead and run that and see what our code does. We want counter here. Sorry, that was, don't know where that came from. All right, so here's our input, one, two, three, four, and our output, so similar to this example, first number is one, and then adding two, which is three, and then adding three, two, and one, which is six, and then adding four, three, two, one, which is 10. So let's run all test cases. And they, all ran as expected. So that was the how I coded this example. Hopefully it made sense. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments. And thanks for watching. See you in the next one. So long.